Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at retrospective MIDI recording in Cubase. Now retrospective MIDI record is something which has actually been present for quite a few versions now but 10.5 brings it a bit more front and centre rather than it being hidden in a menu option which uh, from my experience not a lot of people knew about and when I told people it certainly was like a save the day kind of thing. It's now front and centre with its own record button down here which looks slightly like a crescent and it's useful in two main situations. So either you'll have been playing along with your song and forgotten to press record or, you know, just not thought about it and then come up with something brilliant, which we've probably all done. Or it also, while Cubase is in stop mode, so it's just in standby, it's recording all the time and it records up to, I believe it's 10,000 notes. So we're just going to see it in action in two different scenarios where you probably find it useful. So the first one is you're playing along with something uh, you play along on a MIDI keyboard and you don't record it and you think, oh, I wish I'd recorded that. That's now not a problem. So I'm just going to do that with a nice simple thing, just with a click. So normally you'd be playing along with the track, something more inspirational than just the click, but you'll get the idea. So I'm just going to hit play and then start playing at bar two. Classic bit of Mooncrester there for those of you of a certain age. Right, so I didn't record that clearly, but now we can just hit the retrospective record button there, and as if by magic, it's as if we did actually record it. So you can see it's a perfectly captured MIDI performance, much as you'd expect from anywhere else. All the notes are as in or out of time as they would have been. So that's really handy if you haven't pressed record. But it's also recording all the time. So I'm just going to delete that now. I'll go back to the beginning just for clarity, but I'm just going to noodle along on my keyboard, play something. So Keybase has been recording all that. Now, the one issue with this is that, as you'll see, it records it the default tempo. So it may not be in time, but you might still come up with a great idea or play some chords and you think, well, I don't know. What was that, etc. So if we just hit respective record now, we can see it's recorded. It pasted it in from your current play position. And I wasn't in time with the click, but it's close enough to get something out. And obviously, say if you've come up with a great idea, it will be easy enough to time stretch it, get it to fit, etc. So that is retrospective record in Cubase 10.5. Hope you found that useful. And if you have, please like and subscribe.